Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. If you are a frequent watcher of my YouTube channel, you know that I'm a big fan of AI, AI tools, AI in testing, AI in development, and whatnot is out there in the testing and development world. And a couple of days or weeks ago, I stumbled up on a post on LinkedIn that I think is really valuable to share also with you, the testing community that uh, is watching my videos. And the post was or is from Moatash Nabil, um, who is also a direct contact of myself. And he is also like a frequent content creator for various companies and a uh, QA engineering manager. And he posted some fantastic resources on AI on LinkedIn. and. I would like to share these resources with you because I think they're really valuable in terms of getting into AI, in terms of getting into prompt engineering, in terms of getting into co-pilots and whatnot is out there on the AI front. So without further ado, let's take a look um, at the post and let's take a look at the resources. So here we are. Um, so as you can see, this is the post from Mortash and he wrote like, Hey everyone, I found some fantastic resources that I'd love to share with you. If you're interested in AI coding assistance, prompt engineering, chat GPT and generative AI, there is the list for you to follow up. And, and as always, the original post of Mortash is also on that in the video description. And of course, all the resources are down in the video description. So take a look at them. Sorry for the interruption of the main video. I would like to thank you, the main sponsor of today's video, and it's Shiftse, the community about quality engineering. If you're a developer and tester, DevOps or product specialist, don't hesitate to jump over to Shiftse community to exchange with like-minded people. You can exchange with people on all tech and quality related topics, from software development to software design, software testing, security performance testing and whatnot. And also the latest trends in tech uh, world are covered in the Shifts in community. You can browse through excellent topics, blogs and videos. The Vibrant community is hosting regular webinars on the latest tech trends like AI. At the same time, you can participate in challenges and win cool prizes. But what is more important than winning prizes? Well, it's to create new professional connections and who knows, maybe new ways for your career. Another great benefit for being part of the community is to ask questions. In case you have a specific question, raise it at the Shiftsync community and community member will help you with your challenge or will guide you to the next step in order to solve this. Give it a try. Thanks to Tresentis in creating such a cool tech community. It will help all of us to grow. So see you in the community and make sure to sign up using the link in the video description and start your community collaboration today. See you later and now back to the main video. So let's take a look at the first one. So the first one is called GPT Engineer, a fantastic resource for all things related to GPT based engineering. So I think if you would like to get into GPT engineering, that's the place to go. So it's a GitHub project from uh, Anton Osika. And as you can see here, it's uh, it mentioned that it specify what you want it to build. So the AI asks for clarification and then builds it. I haven't tried it myself. There is a there is a linked demo over here. We can take a quick look. Uh, so we, we go to Twitter and you can see here there is a demo of, of the project. So you just enter the things that you would like to um, to, to build from the GPT engineer and then it's being built. I think it's a great resource to get into the uh, GPT engineering point of view and as you can see it's a really straightforward setup uh, that you can do here and you also get some usage, usage examples on how to yeah create new code or improving existing code. And I think that's quite interesting. So because before, imagine you have like a, an own testing framework or an own engineering framework and you would like to play around with um, a first GPT integration, that's the place to go. That's where you can start working with it. So let's yeah take a look at it. Um, the second resource is called Awesome Generative AI. And that's not a tool, but it's a long list of really great AI and generative AI resources. And you can see here is a created list of AI projects, tools, artworks, and models. And 
it has almost everything in here, like the history and um, maps of definition of AI area. Uh, it has different LLM models uh, in here, like autonomous LLM agents, a lang chain, uh, ChatGPT, GPT-3, Bloom, and whatnot. And also it explains uh, what is prompt engineering of text to text or text to image. And as you can see here, the list is long. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff over here. And also in case you miss things that you know that uh, it, that exists and you would like to contribute, why not uh, sending a pull request to Felipe? I think he will be more than happy to, to add the, the resource to his project as well. So the third one is Awesome Chat GPT. And yeah, that's uh, again resources, all in all resources on the things that you can do with it. So like everything around ChatGPT, the API, the principles behind, the different prompts that you can use, OpenAI official resources. So everything is right over here for you to follow up on ChatGPT topics. So make sure to check it out. The fourth uh, one is a prompt engineering guide. That's also really cool because you can get like the, the whole picture, the, the complete picture when it comes to prompt engineering. If you haven't seen, or is it here? I don't know, I can't remember right now. I, I made a video about prompt engineering with the example of Tess Rigor. Make sure to also take a look at this. Um, and this is like, in case you're working with an LLM in your work environment, prompt engineering might be a big topic for you to improve the prompts the, the, to improve the way you work with an LLM and the things that you get uh, get back from it. So as a get here, it's a great guide for prompt engineering. So what else do we have for GPT Pilot? Yeah, GPT Pilot, as you might guess already, it helps developers build apps. Well, it says 20 times faster. I doubt it, <laughs> but let's see. I mean, it's always like, you know, it's 10 time engineering and whatnot is out there. Um, it might improve your, your, your speed. It might improve your, your work environment, but I, I would not judge it like 20 times faster. You can also put it hundred times faster. Um, but this is, this is a project that is, yeah, it's the GPT pilot that you can add uh, in, into your IDE and then you get assistant from an AI, no matter what you're doing, what you're developing, what you're testing. Yeah. Uh, it says here, it starts coding the app step by step, like in real life, while you oversee the development process. Try it out. I haven't tried it myself. I just found the resource. I, I, it's really interesting. I would love to try it out in the next couple of days and weeks. Make sure to keep it more like to keep in mind that whenever you use like AI products or AI systems, then that you might share your own property, your own code, confidential topics with an LLM that is not in your hand. So that, that's something you have to keep in mind. Don't blindly use it and send somewhere something that you might regret afterwards. Yeah. So what else do we have? We have a PR agent that's also really interesting because it's called a PR agent or Codium AI. is an open source tool aiming to help developers review pull requests faster and more efficiently. So that's cool. So that's something that you can actually hook into your GitHub PR, PR review, as you can see here in the, in, the, in the little demo. And yeah, it helps you to do code reviews faster. You can ask questions and so forth and so forth, changing, changing things. And yeah, give it a try and see if it's helpful, valuable for you, for your team, for your testing, whatever uh, is, is helpful here as well. And last but not least, we have also awesome coding assistance. It's also a repository. As you can see here, it's another curated list of coding assistants that are available out there. And you can see the list is already long. We have different IDEs and extensions that you can use in order to use AI in your projects. And also, if you haven't checked my video list that is uh, like down below the video or on my main uh, video channel, I have uh, a couple of videos already in the pipeline for AI tools like Test Rigor, Catalon, uh, uh, I think who else is there? Um, Check it out. I mean, I made, I made a lot of videos. I, I can't remember all of them, but I made a couple of videos already on AI topics and there is more to come. Uh, there's also a assistant chatbots here, there's LLMs for code, articles, podcasts, scientific papers. This is also a really interesting because that's some scientific evaluation of LLMs and how they can impact the yeah, our world of, of testing, of engineering, of product management. 
So I think it's a really valuable collection of, of resources and I'm pretty, pretty happy that Motash posted this list of resources on LinkedIn and that I saw it because, you know, sometimes on social media you miss great, great content and that's why I thought like, hey, let's do a video about the topic so maybe you, you missed it as well. And I think it's, it's, it's worth mentioning on, on my channel that there is a lot of cool stuff out there. So make sure to follow in the video description down below to get all the links to the resources. Uh, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription, share it with your network because I think that AI might disrupt the, the development, testing and product economy similarly to the mobile cases that we had in 2000 and starting, I mean, iPhone was released in 2007, but like the, the real takeoff of mobile was in 2010 when like a lot of companies uh, jumped on the bandwagon of like, hey, we need a mobile app. And, and I think this could be the, the, in the, uh, head into the same direction. So make sure to learn all about AI, what it can do for you and whatnot, and then make your own um, yeah, judgments on, on the things if you think you can, you can use it or not. Yeah, that was the video for today. I hope you like it. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.